Hi! Good evening, everybody. Welcome to your Monday, or your terrific Tuesday, February 7th, 2023, Turning Point video for today. Today we're going to be learning about horrors. Episode 466 of the Turning Point series. Today's beginning passage is Matthew 6.34, but we'll be reading it in the recommended reading when we read Matthew 6.31-34. through 34. The turning point is from Corey Ten Boom. C-O-R-R-I-E, Corey. Then small letters T-E-N, like the number 10, but it's T, uh, lowercase T-E-N. And then the word, the last name, boom. Big B O O M. Well, let me see if you can see it on the camera. Right there on my finger, Corey Ten Boom. That's the name. So, and then our beginning, our, our Bible reading for today, we're, re we're beginning the book of Numbers, chapters one and two. And you know if you say numbers one and two, you act like you're saying numbers one and two. Without, you're not saying the book of numbers. You're saying numbers, you got numbers one and numbers two. Number one and number two. <laughs> see the see the tie in with that? But if you say no, numbers chapters one and two, then you'll realize you're talking about the book. But if you're excited about this one, smash the like button. How was your terrific Tuesday? How was your February 7th terrific Tuesday? How did it go? Anything? How was your day? That's basically. But if you're excited about this one, smash the like button. And liking the video will help the video and channel out a lot. And remember the like challenge. Go back to the morning video for explanation. It's a very easy one. So, and I forgot to mention that in the afternoon video as well. So, if I did, I'm sorry. If I forgot it, sorry. I believe I said it. I'm not too sure. Just, just recently finished recording that one. So I don't know in, the, in my train of thought if it's there. You come here. Wants to say hello. Sorry about that. Weird way I was sleeping, but. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Turn on notifications. Share the video and channel with your family and friends and help me reach that 100 subscriber mark for my birthday, April the 18th. And if you do, I'll be I'll be greatly appreciated. Because right now, I'm, just, I'm in the 30s right now. So any and all subscribers would help reach that goal of 100. So I'd be appreciated more than you'll ever imagine. To get to that 100 mark for my birthday. That's my birthday gift. So if you want to give me a birthday gift for my birthday, that's what I want. Is to be at 100 subscribers. But horrors! Exclamation mark. The book says, the Matthew 6, 34 says, Therefore do not worry about... Tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things, sufficient for the day in its own trouble. So, Matthew 6, 31-34. Almost turn right to it. <laughs> um, so, 31 says, do not, therefore, do not worry, saying, what shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear? For all these things the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knows what you need, that you need all these things. But seek ye first the kingdom of God, and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. That's a good memory verse. 633. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own thing, sufficient for the day is its own trouble. Yep, same, same, same verse. 
<clears throat> so recently a website offers tips to help people calm down if a horror movie triggers their anxiety. Horror movies are designed to elicit emotions like fear and stress, which can cause panic attacks. Movie makers use a technique called jump scare to shock viewers and make them jump. The scenes can result in nightmares and generate anxiety. So most of us would say they're easy answer to that. Don't watch horror movies. I can watch a horror movie now and it won't scare me. It, it ain't like the movies that I grew up on. Like Fred, uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, Friday the 13th with the Jason movies. Now, those movies scared me when I was younger, especially Freddy Krueger, especially with that one. That was the one that scared me a lot, was Freddy Krueger at that time when I was younger. But these horror movies nowadays, I see previews for them, it's like, they don't know how to make a crazy horror movie. Now, it might scare people these days, that's never seen the older movies. But you talk about a, that there's one movie that my mom and dad was scared about. What was it? Living Dead? Night of the Living Dead? Or I think it's one of those movies up back in the day. That was the one that scared them. But some of these movies nowadays, I've seen... I've seen bits and pieces of some of these horror movies. And <laughs> they're, so, they're so lame. To me, they're so lame. Now, somebody younger that's seeing these movies nowadays, the, new, the newer horror movies, they may scare them. But to me, <laughs> they, don't, they just don't know how to make a good scary movie, good horror film. Like Freddy Krueger and Jason, Friday the 13th, Nightmare on Elm Street. Those, those scared me when I was younger. Especially Krueger, Freddy Krueger. <laughs> but life itself can do the same thing. Elicit emotions of fear and stress, cause panic attacks, shock and scare us, give us nightmares, generate anxiety. And we can very easily avoid life. Not. <laughs> but we can minimize anxiety. One of the greatest techniques of peaceful people is learning to go about today's business while leaving tomorrow in God's hands. As you focus on what God has placed in front of you today, the giant of worry about the future will fade. God will take care of today and tomorrow. So don't worry about tomorrow. What tomorrow has not even promised. Because we're not even promised tomorrow. You go each and every day that you're given. And don't worry about the next day. Even though you may plan to do things in the future. But you may never get to them. You, you, certain things are planned for a certain day. Now if we get to them, we get to them. One little hair, don't want to stay down. But Corey Ten Boom, with our turning point, says worrying is carrying tomorrow's load with today's strength, carrying two days at once. It is moving into tomorrow in the head of time. Worrying doesn't empty tomorrow of its sorrow, it empty today's of its strength. So worrying about what tomorrow may bring while you still in today. Can can weigh a lot, bear a lot, uh, bear a heavy load on you today. So don't worry about what tomorrow may bring. Worry about today. Tomorrow will come if God wants it to. So the things of tomorrow will come if God allows it to. And when you wake up each and every day, you thank the Lord for another day. 
So that's all I have for you today. <clears throat> a little longer than the other two videos. That's fine. Because I had a couple. I had some rambling about certain things. I get that way. If I get on a certain subject, I'll, I'll talk about it for a couple minutes. But that's all I have for you today. I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep on keeping on and trusting God. And he'll keep you safe. And all you say and do, 2023 and beyond. And until tomorrow, peace out, everybody. So long, farewell. Come back tomorrow for, a, for another glorious hump day Wednesday. And we'll see what God has in store for us tomorrow. Including the next The Series video, number 141 in episode 9. Six nine eighty nine eighty four part one in the I wills of Christ, beginning with Mark one forty one, compiled from Henry M. Morse. We'll see that tomorrow morning, morning after seven, hopefully. <laughs> and then tomorrow's afternoon video after one, part two of episode nine eighty four. We're going to be learning about God's arms are open. From Jennifer Vincent Schilt, derived from 1 John 1, 5 through 10. And in tomorrow's turning point, <clears throat> excuse me, episode 467, we're going to be learning about 12 lights, or 12 laughs, excuse me. Luke 6, 21 is the beginning passage. But we'll be reading it in the recommended reading, Luke 6, 20 through 23. Our turning point is from Henry Ward Beecher, B-E-E-C-H-E-R. And then there's a footnote at the end of the second section. The one right. Right there on my finger. The section right here, there's a number there. And then our Bible... Reading, we're going on with chapters 3 and 4 of Numbers. So, stay tuned for those. I'll get to those later tonight, hopefully. Hopefully I'll get them in time to be able to get them all done and have them set, ready to go for the right times tomorrow. So, with that said, God bless everyone. God bless America in 2023. And I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> So until tomorrow, me and Baby Yoda, we out. So have a great rest of your evening, and we'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great rest of your night, and we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody.